Let us evaluate the integral e to the power x into sin bx dx by applying integration by parts. First step we recall the product rule. Integral of u into v dx equal to first function that is u u into integral of v dx minus integration of derivative of first function into integral of second function then again integration so that's exactly what we have in product rule let's apply product rule to evaluate this integral your first function is e to the power ax so let's start by writing let i equal to integral of e to the power ax into sine bx dx this imply i equal to first function is e to the power ax minus uh, e to the power ax dash once again first function is e to the power ax into integral of second function second function is sine bx dx minus integral of derivative first function into integral of second function e to the power x as it is derivative of e to the power x is equal to e to the power x we have to apply chain rule and then differentiate ax with respect to x that is just a integral of sine bx is minus cos bx by b so minus integral of derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x into a integral of sine bx is minus cos bx integral of sine bx is minus cos bx by b okay so far we have started with an integral and we are still getting some integral that we need to compute so this is equal to minus 1 by b e to the power ax into cos bx minus minus plus so plus a by b the constant can be taken out of integral once again we apply product rule first function e to the power ax integral of second function integral of cos bx is sine bx by b minus integral of derivative of first function derivative e to the power ax is e to the power ax into a integral of cos bx is sine bx by b this is equal to minus 1 by b e to the power ax into cos bx plus a by b square e to the power x into sine bx uh, we can multiply numerator a into a a square b into b b square integral of e to the power x sine bx is exactly what we have started with e to the power x into sine bx that is just i so we can write simply at i now let's take this quantity to the left hand side we have one number of i plus a square by b square times i equal to minus 1 by b uh, we can take e to the power x common throughout minus 1 by b cos bx plus a by b square sine bx of course whenever we compute integration at last we are likely to get some constant of integration so let's write that as well let's take LCM 
a square plus b square by b square times i equal to e to the power ax we can take LCM here as well minus b cos bx plus a sin bx now let's take constant to the right hand side so we have either integral required integral equal to b square will get cancelled e to the power ax divided by a square plus b square times minus b cos bx plus a sin bx again plus some constant of integration 